tectonics accounts for important features of Earth's surface and major geologic events. As a basis for understanding this concept, students will learn about the evidence for plate tectonics, the layers of the Earth, continental drift, volcanoes, earthquakes, plate motions, and major features of California geology. In spirit of the newly adopted Common Core standards, this unit will also cover reading and writing standards in technical subject areas. The ISTE technology standards will also be addressed in depth during this unit. Students will begin this unit by learning about Alfred Wegener's theory of plate tectonics, including the breaking up of the supercontinent Pangaea and the shifting of the continents over the years, also about the fossil evidence that proves the continents were once connected. Students will then learn about the different layers of the Earth's structure. They will learn about different types of plate boundaries, plate movements, and landforms and processes that result from these movements, for example, mountain building, deep ocean trenches, ridges, and volcanoes. Students will evaluate how these processes affect the lives of humans. Next, students will learn about the different types of volcanoes. They will learn about how volcanoes are formed, and the effects that they might have on their surrounding environments. Students will also learn about earthquakes and the different types of seismic waves. Different types of waves penetrate different layers of the Earth's crust and have different effects when they hit the surface. Students will learn about the Richter scale, the way we measure the intensity of an earthquake. And students will learn how a seismograph works, the instrument that we use to measure the intensity of an earthquake by locating its epicenter. Students will then complete a series of activities based on the Pacific Ring of Fire, a pattern of locations of volcanoes and earthquakes that can be used as evidence for Alfred Wegener's theory. This will be the first time that students are asked to form a hypothesis, an important part of the scientific method. Next, students will learn about the life and work of John Muir, who is considered the first environmentalist and the father of our national park system. It is at this point in the unit that students will have an opportunity to get in touch with nature and reflect on some of their own past experiences. For the final part of the unit, students will complete a group project in which each group focuses on one of the geomorphic provinces of California. Each group will give a presentation in which they give the highlights of their geomorphic province. California is full of fascinating geologic features that are due to a range of different processes at work under the Earth's surfaces. Students at the end of this unit will have an understanding of the geology at work in their home state of California. The goal of this unit is not only for students to gain a comprehensive understanding of the theory of plate tectonics and of geologic processes, but also for students to gain more of an appreciation for the natural world that surrounds them. Our environment is in desperate need of protecting, and these students are the future environmentalists. If students gain an understanding of the natural processes at work and the natural beauty that surrounds them in their home state of California and around the world, they can begin to understand how long it will take the earth to recover from the environmental changes that humans have caused. Understanding this big picture is the first step to realizing the consequences of our actions and making more environmentally friendly choices in the future. Throughout this course, we took an in-depth look at Bloom's taxonomy as well as Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. We explored innovative ways of integrating technology with these theories, focusing on mobile media applications, especially those for the iPad. Integrating technology truly is the most effective way to create multiple entry points for every type of learner. From social networking to virtual mind mapping, productivity applications, audio and video editing, online publishing, web quests, hands-on smart lessons, and many more, there is a type of technology that caters to each type of the multiple intelligences. The wide variety of technologies available allow teachers to design activities that target specific levels of Bloom's taxonomy and are also engaging, interesting, and exciting to students. 
teachers and students are both craving more technology integration in the classroom. And while the high cost of technology is the main reason against integrating it into the classrooms at this point in time, it may not be a problem for much longer. The rapid release of new technologies means that older technologies will soon become outdated and much lower in cost, but still effective for classroom use. It is every teacher's responsibility to captivate the interest of their students and make them lifelong learners. And as teachers of the digital generation, it is our responsibility to find innovative ways to integrate digital technology into our classrooms in order to engage our students and get them excited about learning.